Uh, I kind of like the Inkling. Um, it's like another character that can like safely poke Game & Watch and not always worry about uh, a Beata shield. That back here already from Tony. That's a really good space until he's gonna really uh, want to try to use as much as possible against Game Watch. Yeah, we talked about how well, good it is. Well, in most matchup, but like in this matchup especially, just because of the range he has. Yeah, we talked about how good it was for Palutena just to use back air. Wow, I mean, what an ability to just punish that whip grab. Tony looking to land on the stage and take control. Double back air here, and this is pushing Monty in a little bit of a different situation. But there's the immediate up here, the sh a shield. You gotta be careful of the berry. That's no up smash. Yeah, I was gonna say. If smash would have been the call here, but I still really I respect it from Tony Pajamas. Just trying to see how the, trying to see if he can bait out the mash or the usual option where your opponent mashes and then directional air dodges towards the stage. right now Tony also trying to see if he can get that up smash out of shield as well great parry on that uh, hoop very very risky to go for a parry in that spot oh, nope. looking to get Monty yeah to looking to get the far off there. Ooh, the roll gets caught Monty has been so good at just catching his opponents and get up options at the ledge like he's been calling out the roll he's been calling on neutral get up it's been doing wonders against his opponents and I'm beginning to wonder like just for anybody out there, if you see your opponent charging a smash attack, normally it's just best to wait it out. Or unless you have a really good getup attack. Yeah, you can hit him for Oh, oh no! The down air two frame. I've never seen Game Watch hit that on Eclink. Yeah, but especially there's a roll yeah. into the up smash. But still, uh, pretty huge for Monty to get a lead like that from that spike. Yeah, Monty it's has good. just so much control now at this point that, like, it's. Even though Tony Pajamas is down a stock. There's a lot that he has to do for it just to come back here, but we'll slowly, I mean, we'll see. The, the beginning of Inkling making the comeback is all dependent on how you're able to just effectively back your opponent off the stage like so. Look at the way that Tony slowly brought things out. That's a good forward smash, even though missed, because you can see that the range that would have punished rolls, but there's a distance, and even if the fact that Monty went from arrows out of the ledge, he was still relatively safe. for a chance to get a roller here. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Not enough. Man, even with paper, uh, paper watch. <laughs> Game and watch is paper. You know, paper like weight. All right. Good use of splat bomb there, covering the lower recovery there. Once again, setting it up to never forget the splat bomb has one bounce, so you can effectively set it up there at the ledge as well to see if you can catch normal get ups too. A lot of back airs being Art. set up. Yeah, good for Monty still using the bucket because you can use it as a reflector, but so much of a get up option there. And great from Tony to punish it. Like I said, he can definitely bring this back slowly, but we'll see yeah. what he can do. Uh, the list just yeah, Monty still got to play uh, safe here. Can't really give Tony any free openings because the damage output really, really strong. back here trying to play around game watches forward era two nice really good spacing from tony right now oh, wink here it's gonna have to take some time to charge up a little bit okay there it is again a very well spaced back here not only going through the forward air hitbox but just hitting game watch two Let's trap with the slap bomb. He's gonna jump over, but gets called out again. Tony's with some really nice call outs. Yeah, he knows. Aerial he, yeah. well. Oh, it's, it goes super deep, but okay, no roll this time to the up smash. Would have been really bad. Yeah, the way that Monty has been using the uh, BA just to try to find oh. his way back towards center stage. Oh, oh no! Oh. That roller is still active. That roller didn't care about anything. Clank with the up smash and just keep going. Wow. That was actually crazy. I didn't even think that could, it worked like that, but Tony knew something that I didn't. But great comeback there. Bringing it all the way back. After yeah. getting that two-frame spike, Monty's still going to drop that game. 
a lot of good back airs, like I said. Like, it's kind of funny, but it sounds when you put it in hindsight. So, yeah, like, oh, the more back airs Tony Pajamas was able to get in those situations, the better. Because you can see how he was able to just effectively carry Monty off the stage as well with back airs, but also look at the way that he punished Monty for going for upbeat at the ledge as well. You have to look at your opponent, which is Game and Watch, and see the common options, which is like, you have to respect Monty. He wanted to go for upbeat. Just because he wanted to fight his way back towards center stage using a combination of up B and downer. Problem here is that Tony Pajamas has caught up to him. And we'll see if anything is going to change here coming out against Monty in game two. As Tony has a set lead pretty much. This is still best of three territory. Great counter pick, I want to say, from uh, Monty here. This is a really good stage for Game Watch to uh, use. If you're on that platform and Game Watch is under you, you can just back up all the same rest of the easy but, but same point uh, Inkling also gets some really good uh, benefit from that middle platform like her yeah you're able to do that so far uh, Monty can be able to rack up a lot for Cena Tony's still trying to find a bit of an open missing that jab very fortunate to get buried by the down smash in that situation because I'm pretty sure he was dead <laughs> I mean, so far, Tony with a really strong, well, not a strong lead, but a little bit of a, de a strong deficit between him and Monty. And honestly, Monty's just been slowly catching up with Tony from last game. Honestly, not a, not a lot that, like, I could see Tony doing doing worse. It's just Monty as a player being able to slowly catch up with Queen's game plan. Like, right there, I'm able to bucket the, oh, no. Okay, still alive, yeah. I didn't know that he could, uh... I didn't know that until now. Yeah, same. I I I kind of treated it more like a water box, kind of like flood, but. Yeah. Very risky up the ledge. Uh, I think if Tony was ready, that was an up smash out of shield. But another situation in which Tony has stayed alive. He's opening well. And really close. Actually, let me take that back. Taking the first stock. <laughs> such a huge deficit. Yeah, I don't know. Tony's ability is okay, uh, calm. I think he really needs to kind of pick his spots uh, carefully. This is such a benefit to him. Yeah, because he's, he's been... that type of character. Like, he doesn't really have to do much approaches. He has like, really good uh, aerials, really good movement. He just kind of hang back and wait for the. Uh, yeah, having good movement with Inkling as a character like Inkling definitely gives Tony a little bit of an edge. But also the way that Tony has just been punishing Monty from the ledge as well. Monty's been making a few mistakes and Tony's just been there to capitalize every time. Wow, watch the getup. Good way to just jump away from the dash attack. But man, Monty is still relentless with that up B. Yeah, good good opportunity to hold shield on the cross up there. Just knowing down smash is coming. And even if you don't get buried, man, the tail and the down smash will send you off stage. And you know that's where Monty wants to have you at this point. Crucial up the for the rollers at that percent. Very dangerous as I'm gonna watch this so light. Yeah, I, I thought he was gonna punch that landing, but Monty Day was thinking yet another upbeat. Rollers are flying here. Tony wants to get some time to charge in. He doesn't get the back air, it's enough time to get him more gas in the tank. But uh still trying to find his kill. Very close to dying. And uh, yeah, he but he jumps into the board and tries to face an aerial of his own. Unfortunately, for where uh, Tony has to drop that stock. That forcing the roller a little bit too much. Oh, oh no, look at the corner carry. Um, almost 50% there. And Tony is just throwing out the roller left and right. He just wants his kill. Monty's not giving it to him at all, though. I was gonna say, like, I almost respect Tony in that aspect. Yeah, there will be the kill after the dash attack. But I respect him in that aspect because at that point, he's using Roller to catch something like landing for after Uppy. But you still gotta respect Monty on that situation because Monty can still react afterwards. And that's gonna be the spot dodge to punish the down smash there. A little bit of a 43 to 75%. And slowly, Tony has brought things back, man. The splat to kind of catch the getup option. Time I see Tony in this position, I feel like he's the one that has the yeah, honestly, it, it, but it's up to him. Oh, oh no. Nice. Caught that air dodge. Nice, nice punish. Nice punish. Mr. Good for him not to blow that lead. Tony like, has been able to come back almost every time, even when he's down by so much.
Yeah, honestly, I feel like a lot of it on that spot dodge, I'm sorry, air dodge situation there was just... Tony just trying to land before he can get juggled more, but like I said, sometimes, especially against a character like Game & Watch, you're better off resetting towards the ledge. Yeah, you have to worry about things about back air, but at that point, you can kind of like directionally air dodge it and then hope to get away. That's the thing about Game & Watch. The minute you feel like you're going to get juggled from up B, just reset yourself to the ledge. It's better than getting up aired a thousand, a dozen times or your air, your directional air dodge red. Better, yeah. But we are here. Yeah, last game between these two. Yeah, this is a great equal stage. Just all the space to move around the stage is really good. Space aerials. Namely that back here, uh, pretty well these days. Also, with no platforms or retreats, it kind of makes my life a little bit But that whip dash grab, Monson, which basically is zero to death on the first knock. That whip dash grab is a hard punch. There's a nair from the ledge, so you're gonna eat some punch here. Going for the judgment hammer instead of a longer shot. Really trying to like push the lead as hard as possible. Got that, uh, nine. Oh, good cross up there into back air. I like that Tony is slowly kind of moving around Monty a little bit differently and trying to find ways to break through Monty's shield while also effectively trying to avoid things like up out of shield because that's the number one thing you want to avoid from Game & Watch is that really powerful anti-air. That was good there with the splat roller. I'm sorry, splat bomb, but unfortunately, you will not get the punish there. Tony's got, yeah, I was gonna say, Tony, reset yourself, man. Don't go back center stage, because, man, Monty's just looking for that blue situation to happen. No roller. Yeah, there's gonna be the punish. Okay. If Tony plays this as calm as possible, gets a couple, I would say at least like two to three grab combos, a few back airs on the stage, right? Two good edge guards, and you can see this slowly come back here, but Monty just has all the tools right now out there available against Tony. Especially the way that we saw Tony was aggressive with Roller. I don't think he's going to be able to get a raw Roller uh, in this set right now. He's going yeah. to get a tech chase to get that Roller to connect. Exactly. Oh. And, but the more... Okay, that was a risky downer. Because you can see that that smash attack I just narrowly missed. No, not like this. Big punish from Monty. Uh, that... That roller, signs of desperation to like you know desperately get this 